Hello, what up, what's up? I'm Misha, and this is Misha C. Tarot. All praises due to the Most High. God, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you. Angels and ancestors of the Most High with their white light, please guide and protect us as we go into the tarot and allow me to channel clear and honest messages for whomever may come across this reading. Holy Spirit, what important messages do you have for the collective? What important messages do you have, Holy Spirit? That's a lot. Clearing on, clearing on his messages, please. We have here Lately by Tyrese. Mm -mm. <laughs> Lately, with spreading lies at the bottom of the deck. Cut the cord. Cancer. The cancer could be very significant. And I just want to say that this cancer energy got everybody all sensitive. Like, sensitive. Like, really <laughs> in their feelings. Like, it's going to be over soon. Just calm the fuck down. All right? Yeah, cancer, sun, moon, horizon could be very significant. We also have here one night stand. As well as a single parent. Damn, and after that, we have here Naughty by Nature. Somebody could have definitely lied and said they had some type of access to you like that, and they ain't never even got that close to you. You ain't even, you ain't even blowing their ass. Okay, lately, somebody's been spreading lies. It's time to cut the cord. I'm getting like third time to charm, all right? Somebody's favorite candy is the Reese's Cup. Or the peanut butter Reese's. Oh, I'm getting peanut butter Reese's. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, we have here lately. Somebody's been spreading lies. What is this about? It's like they got a whole lot to say. And they tell them, talking shit to whoever. We're talking shit about you, but to whoever would listen. They'll even be speaking on you to people who don't even know who you are. I can't make it up. We have here the devil card sliding out. Devil card here with the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck. They a goddamn crook. This person's been in your home as well. Some of you guys, this person has been in your home here. This person's going to learn a lesson from speaking on you, putting their lips on you. They should have never, ever came for you. With the Eight of Wands here and the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, this person is going to be in despair. This person is going to take a huge loss for coming up against you. They've been warned by your ancestors, by spirit, to let something alone or leave you alone. Tell me more about this devil card here, Holy Spirit. Seven of Swords spreading lies. Clarify the devil card and Seven of Swords spreading lies. You have here the Four of Swords in reverse with the Nine of Cups. Yeah, somebody wouldn't let something rest. They just kept bringing something up, bringing you up, talking about you. I'm definitely getting like that. Talking about your lifestyle, the way you may live, or how you're living right now with the Nine of Cups here and the Justice card, the Six of Wands. I'm definitely getting like you're doing a lot better than what this person expected you to be doing. Why is like somebody tapped on the window? Tell me more, Holy Spirit, about the Four of Swords in reverse. This person can't seem to stop thinking about you. It's almost like the people that they're talking to you about, they're starting to see the hate, the envy, the jealousy. It's actually pretty fucked up because for some of you guys, this could actually be somebody that's supposed to be in your corner, your friend, or however this is. But they talk about you so bad. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, about the Four of Swords in reverse. This person ain't nothing nice. And they ain't got nothing good coming to them. I can't make it up with the Ace of Cups here. They ain't got nothing good coming to them with the Five of Pentacles here. Five of Swords just flew out with the Six of Pentacles. Same way you treat others. Whatever you put out, you're going to get back. Whatever negativity 
you put out into the energy, into the universe, you're going to receive that back times 10. So if you out here loving on people, sending healing vibes in high vibrations, expect that back. If you out here hating on motherfuckers, speaking down on motherfuckers, do I need to elaborate? You're going to get that back. So somebody's getting it back exactly what the fuck they put out. And then they have the nerve to wonder why, oh, everybody's out to get me. Why is this happening to me? It's like they want everybody not to fuck with you. Now, ain't nobody fucking with them. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Five of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Your person could be a single parent or you could be. Somebody's also mad because you didn't give them a chance. It's like you don't want to date them or give them an opportunity. Somebody wanted to pursue you as a partner, but you was like, nah, I'm good. Tell me more. Eight of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Please, Holy Spirit. Thank you for these messages. We have here the King of Pentacles in reverse as well as the Four of Cups. Like somebody's wishing on your money here, hoping that you lose your job as well. Or your business plan fails or your business fails. King of Pentacles here with the Four of Cups. It's like this person has nothing good to say about you, but they keep their name, your name in their mouth. They're hoping that you lose money or you go broke. But with the Five of Pentacles here, the Eight of Wands, they're going broke. Nobody's giving them a handout. Nobody, nobody cares. It's like they want people to care for what they're going through, but nobody has no compassion or no sympathy for them. This person is very mean-hearted, mean-spirited. Anything else for the King of Pentacles in reverse, Holy Spirit, Four of Cups? And they, they, they brought this on their self. They brought this on their self. You have here the Eight of Cups in reverse with the Three of Swords. So I'm definitely getting like multiple people are walking away from this person here. This person could be losing their job, losing friendships, going through a breakup or a separation in a relationship. They're fucking holding on to very little. They don't have much. They're trying to savor what the fuck they can, holding on to it for dear life. I'm getting like, this is just the beginning. But oh, wait, the Seven of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords, that's the truth. The Ten of Swords, this is what they wanted for you. But now it's happening to them. That's why you got to be careful who the hell you put your mouth on and who you talk about. And I'm just helping again for some of you guys. This is actually somebody that you know. It's like you cheered this person on when they were doing well, or they were up and they were doing good and progressing, and what they were hoping and and having faith in coming to fruition started coming into fruition for them. You were cheering this person on, but when things started to be when it was reverse and it was happening to you, they couldn't support you. They didn't want to support you. It's like they wanted to. Talk down on you. Spread lies. When the truth is, they just don't want to see you doing good at all. And not even better than them. It's not that they want to see you doing good, but not better than them. They don't want to see you doing good at all. Okay? The Ten of Swords, the Devil card. Seven of Swords, the Five of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Like, this person won't show ass in the mud, face down. But now it's happening to them. That's fucked up. Anything else regarding lately? Judgment. Huh. Five of Wands. We're definitely receiving judgment here. Going through a lot of conflict at this time. Somebody's very bold. Boisterous. It's like they talk a bunch of shit, but they can't back it the fuck up. Anything else regarding judgment in the five of wands, Holy Spirit? 
We have here the Knight of Wands in reverse. Page of Cups in reverse. The Magician. Oh, shit. The Magician in reverse. The Ten of Wands in reverse. This person's not able to manifest. <laughs> and this person feels like they have all rights to do what it is that they're doing. They don't feel like they need to apologize for anything. This person is very cocky. Very, very cocky. It's almost like this person doesn't want to give you credit for something here. It's like they don't want to give you props. They want to give you credit for something. They want to see you struggling. This is what they want. Okay, laid off. I can't make it the fuck up. Laid off. <laughs> they wanted you to be laid off, but they're laid off. While God has a higher position for you, God has a higher position for you. While they're 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 losing out, they're down and out. I'm definitely getting like somebody. I'm, I just heard I wish you the best. Like somebody's wishing somebody the best. And this person couldn't even do that for you. They wouldn't even do that for you. We have here, just for a moment, I started to miss you. All right? Just for a moment, I started to miss you. So somebody's going to be missing you. Somebody could be actually cutting the cord here. Or This is like I'm definitely getting here. Like You could have cut the cord with somebody, but you're still wishing them the best. Can we just try again at the top of the deck? Somebody like, yeah. Can we just try again? They want to know, can they just try again? We also have here, all it takes is to believe that your life actually matters. You never end too deep to change your life around. We also have here, dark night of the soul. So you never end too deep to change your life around here? It's not too late for this person to change their outlook on things and their outlook on you. I'm definitely getting like some type of forgiveness. It needs to be Somebody wants to be forgiven for the things that they wished upon you. They're going to miss you when you're gone. A Taurus could be very significant as well. We also have here a karmic relationship. And a reveal, okay? Showing yourself, show time, present. And then we also have here over-opinionated. This person had a whole lot to say about what was going on with you in your life. And not only did they have something to say about it, but they also put a twist on it and added a, some lies. They, they lie. They're a bold-faced fucking lie. Now they're eating their fucking words. Anything else, Holy Spirit? I have some final message for the collective. What do they need to hear? We have here like magic, like magics. So something that you're doing is very, it's like, it's unbelievable how great you're doing. And these people are watching, they're looking. These like, a, these are bystanders, all right? These could be the people that they spread their lies to. But these people are watching, looking and listening, okay? We also have here a single parent once again. I'm going to leave it right there. Be sure to take only what resonates and leave the rest. I'm sending you the utmost love and respect, peace, healing, joy, prosperity, abundance, love, and hell of that shit. Peace.